Michigan auto plants could be in terrible trouble if President Trump makes good on a threat to shut down the southern border with Mexico. Auto experts say that this would be devastating to the industry and to the state's economy. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith explains what could happen. How quickly would it take to actually shut down plants if, in fact, a U.S.-Mexico border shutdown happened? Well, according to the folks I'm talking to, it would be just a matter of days till places like this had to shut down. Assembly lines across the state threatened, not by strikes, but the president, who floated board, a complete shutdown of the well, U.S.-Mexico border, something experts say could backfire in terms of the auto industry. I agree it's going to be a big toll, but trade and commerce and making money for our country. It's all very important. But to me, the most important job I have is the security of our country. Just how big would the effect be on locals? Well, one man from Plymouth, a supply chain consultant, said it's too big to even plan for. I think in the short term, how do you plan for this, right? It's like a comet hit, hit in the earth. The impact is so huge that there's folks aren't contingency planning around it because they know it's going to stop the industry. Part of the problem, integral parts made south of the border. Even in U.S. built cars and trucks, there's foreign parts. As the folks at the Center for Automotive Research explain, more than 70 percent of all wiring harnesses are built in Mexico. Without them, you can't build a vehicle. And with dozens of other parts needed on lines like these, it's not something that's stockpiled in plants. I think you would see um, suppliers without parts and OEs struggling to keep their assembly plants open, even with a two-day, three-day shutdown. Online at WXYZ.com, we're breaking down some numbers that groups say is the amount of money that is brought in via the border to the U.S. auto manufacturing sector each and every day. But we're also talking about just what this means. But some people said there's only one thing that would be more devastating than this. That'd be shutting down the Canadian border. We're in Warren. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.